right, everyone, welcome back. Today, number 12, bowl number 12 is holes. I'm gonna be putting some holes in a bowl and I'm gonna use my hole cutter tool uh, that I purchased online very inexpensively. I have, I'm going back and forth whether or not I should give you the name of the place that I bought it from. I don't know why, just because there's a lot of places you can get this tool from, but I got it online. Uh, so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's clip. It's not a real, difficult technique you just have to have your clay in the right place and you have to know how to insert the tool the one i have you have to you don't insert it and just push it in you have to spin it as you push it in uh, and then there's that the cleanup after there's a lot of cleanup that you have to do after and uh, i also used an, i found a tool that i really didn't know the use for i haven't used it hardly never so uh, i got to use a new tool today as well so i hope you guys enjoy today's bowl it actually is probably one of my favorites so far so hope you enjoy this tool from the beginning. I, you know what, I really don't know how to use a lot of my tools, um, so it's kind of trial and error. I wish there were a video out there, if anyone knows about one, where you can uh, find out how to use the tools that you have. <laughs> what is this for? What is that for? This is my final design. Right, that's it for today. Bowl number 12 is, I'm gonna, it's called holes. We'll just call it holes, poking holes. Um, I'll tell you, when I first started making this, I thought to myself, this is boring, this is boring, because I usually start out with an extremely simple idea. I don't have anything planned out in detail. I usually sit down on the wheel, make the bowl. I have a general idea what the bowl is, but then when I get to the decorating, I don't have hardly any pre-planned anything going on. Today, I just knew I was gonna make holes in it around the top rim. So, I grabbed a new tool uh, that I got to use, and I just think it turned out really well. I like this, there's enough white space on it. Uh, white space is, it, in order to see a texture or something, you do have to have some white space around it so you can appreciate the design. I don't know, I'm just, this just made me really happy. It's simple but I love it, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed today. Tomorrow, we'll be moving on to a different type of project. I'm gonna do some hand-built bowls and show you some te techniques there, then we'll move on to glazing a few days from that. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. We will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.